the 18th century when the medical field was in chaotic condition germany presented to the world dr christian frederick samuel hahnemann the man with the mission to cure the study of system of homeopathy remains incomplete without the study of life history of hahnemann because his life history itself is the origin and development of homeopathy hahnemann belonged to the group of fighters who achieved great heights in their respective fields in spite of most unfavorable and discouraging circumstances both samuel christian frederick hahnemann the founder and father of homeopathy was born on 10th april 1755 in a small town in germany called miesen in the state of saxony early life and education His father, Christian Gottfried Hahnemann, was a porcelain painter in a porcelain factory in town. Hahnemann's father was a poor man and therefore could not afford to send him to school. Although Hahnemann did not spend his early days going to school, it did not stop him from getting his education. He got his early education at home from his father. Hahnemann's father taught him to lead a straightforward life, a life which was true, one without any pretense. At the age of 13, in 1767, Hahnemann was admitted to a school. He turned out to be a very brilliant and intelligent student. He had worked his way into the hearts of all his teachers. He showed a lot of interest in mathematics and botany. His love for botany was so great that he made his own herbarium. He was a linguist and it was this great flair for languages that saw him through his harder days of life. Seeing his great command over the languages, he was asked by his teachers at his school to teach his fellow students Greek and Latin. Later he learned about 8 to 10 languages and had the working knowledge of each of them after some time when his father could not afford his education he got hanuman a job in grocery store hanuman had no intention nor desire to work so he returned home to continue his studies after passing his school he joined the lipsic university in 1775 he earned his living by teaching germany and french to other students From Leipzig he went to the Hospital of Brothers of Mercy at Vienna. In 1779, that was 4 years after starting his medical career, he got his MD degree from the University of Erlangen on his thesis, a consideration of the etiology and the therapeutics of pas- spasmodic affections. Medical practice and marriage Thereafter he started his practice in the town of Hestad. At the same time he was translating books from English to German. He was also writing the Krebs medical observation and it was through these things that he became known in the medical world. After a short stay of about a year at Hestad, he left for Dessau. At Dessau he met Mr. Hestelus Hessler, a chemist and a pharmacist. It was Mr. Hessler's stepdaughter, Johanna Leopoldin Henrike Kutschler, whom Hahnemann finally married on 17th November 1781. Hahnemann was 27 years old and his wife was 9 years younger to him. Hahnemann was appointed as a medical officer of health in Goman City. In the year 1784, the couple had their eldest child, Henrietta. Mr. and Mrs. Hahnemann had 11 children during the year 1783 to 1806 AD. Hahnemann was not satisfied with the cruel and uncertain methods. After this, he was mainly involved in translation of books for four years. In 1789, Hahnemann wrote his first volume of French of Health. He was very depressed and dissatisfied by the system of medicine that he then prevailed. Later, he started translating books.
discovery of homeopathy it was in 1790 while he was translating william coulan's materia medica that he found out that the effect of cinchona juice on a person was same as that of malaria he tried this drug on himself and saw that it produced the symptoms like malaria this was the birth of homeopathy a great new branch of medicine was born he then transla- tra- he then started experimenting with more and more drugs he started experiments on himself first and then on members of his family close friends and relatives so he noted that the effect of each drug carefully and came to the conclusion that this drug can produce disease and at the same time cure disease which manifested symptoms similar to those of drug in year 1805 he published his medicine of experience which could be called as forerunner to the organon of medicine in 1810 the first edition of organon that is organon of rational art of healing was published hanuman's life after the publication of organon of medicine the release of this book put hanuman in a great trouble during 1811 to 1821 he wrote seven volumes of materia medica pura in which the recording of symptoms of medicine after they were proved on healthy human beings were published in 1891 he published the second edition of organon of medicine in the middle of 1821 he was given permission to restart his practice of homeopathy in kothen In the year 1824 the third edition of organon was published it was an important edition and contained 320 porism 5 years later in the year 1829 the fourth edition of organon of medicine was published it contained 292 porism the theory of chronic disease was introduced for the first time in this edition In the fifth edition was published in the year 1833. In this, he introduced the doctrine of vital force and drug dynamization. The last and the final, the sixth edition, was published in the year 1921. This edition was published 78 years after the death of Hanuman. Earlier in 1828, Hanuman's chronic disease was published. the life partner of master the woman who stood beside him during the period of hardship his wife johanna passed away on 31st of march in 1830 ad she spent about 40 years of married life with hanuman the latter year of his life hanuman dedicated fully to homeopathy he was looked after by his daughter in 1835 hanuman made Madam Mary Melani de Herville, a woman of high French society, during the course of her treatment, he fell in love with her and got married. She was 45 years younger to him. This second marriage brought bright fortune to Hanuman's life. Soon after, the couple took their leave from Germany and moved to Paris. In Paris, Hanuman got recognition. success honor money comfort and peace it is believed that melani practiced homeopathy along with her husband in paris hence regarded as the first lady homeopathic practitioner final days of his life hanuman after a long hard and fruitful life expired on 2nd july 1843 at 5 am after giving the world the most rational art of healing homeopathy the cause of his death was stated as bronchial catarrh t l bradford praised hanuman as the scholar whom scholar honored and respected physician whom physician feared philologist with whom philologists dared to dispute chemist who thought chemist philosophers whom neither adversity nor honor had power to change